Hello, this is James. I'm going to show you how to apply a category or department to an item in Cash Footprint. So first, let's go ahead and go up to Manage and then Inventory. Choose Attributes. This is where you're going to define all your departments and categories and things like that. So let me just remove these here. Oh, it looks like I have them part of it. So I'm just going to add a category. Call it uh, uh, Shirts. Okay, and then I'm going to add another category. I'm going to call it Pants. All right, then I'm going to call, let's see, let's add a department for men's and women's. Men and women's. Oh, you could do children, whatever. I mean, these can be as general or as specific as you want. I, I think that's a lot of the, the hard part for some people is they just, they're overwhelmed because of the flexibility. You know, it, it's not like this is what you need to do, do that. It's it, it can be whatever you want. So this is how I would use it for like a clothing store. You know, you have pants, shirts, blouses, whatever you want to call them. Um, uh, trousers, you know, you can get as detailed or whatever as you need to. Once you have those set up, go to the inventory and choose inventory again. I'm going to maximize this so we can see everything. I'm going to choose an item to apply things to. I have a sample item that I use. And you can double click the item or you can highlight the item and click edit. Doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Now you're gonna click on attributes. This is where your categories and departments are located. So for this item, I'm gonna say this sample item is women's department and it's a shirt. You just check those two options, okay? Then you click save. That is it. Now this item has those particular attributes or category or department. Okay, now let's go ahead and sell this. Um, those attributes will not be applied to past sales. They will only be applied going forward. So if you try and run a report now for department category, women's and shirts, you're not gonna get anything in those categories because it's point in time. So now that we've just added those going forward, you're gonna see that separation in your sales reports and in your inventory. So if I wanna run an inventory report, this is, this is good to go. So you could do inventory report, department category, and I'm gonna bring up that inventory report so I can see what I have. I am going to show my tree view because it's just the easiest thing for me to do. So women's, there's women's, shirts, and now I see the sample item. If I want to, re this report is 400 pages long. So if you need a report just for women's or shirts, you can do that. You just simply double click on that and it will drill down into its own report. So you can print just this. Uh, that's very handy if you're trying to do inventory and you know, keep track of you know, what you have on hand versus uh, you know, what you ha physically have, you know, what's on hand in the, in the system and what's on hand physically. So you can keep track of those two things um, doing that. So inventory report, that'll show up right away. The sales report, that's point in time. So if I run a inventory report, let's just do month to date. I'm sorry, sales report month to date. Everything's under none because I didn't have those signs. So let me go ahead and sell this item. And we'll do cash, 20, done. Okay, now if I go look at my sales report, and we do by department category, or we'll just do today because we know we just did it. There is, there's none, there's a sample sale I did earlier today, and now here's the department for women's and men, or uh, shirts. So now you can see that separation. So again, that's point in time going forward. Once you make the change, that will be reflected going forward. It doesn't make a change going back in time. So I hope that helped answer any questions you have about how to apply the category or department or attributes to a given item and how the reporting works around that. Um, there's also, if you go to the sales reports, there's also the custom group by attributes. You can do this too, uh, and you can choose your custom grouping. So if you just want shirts, um, you would do by category and then hit next today. And there you can see there's my none category and there's my shirt category. So it doesn't break it down by department, it just does shirts. So if you have men's shirts or women's shirts, they would all show up under shirts. So that's kind of how that would work. Uh, but again, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.